Jonathan, a few minutes ago, asked if we used FEMT, femoral artery intermediate thickness. Now here's where we use it. We don't use that very often. We don't use that on every screen. But you're bringing up a great point. Usually plaque is not just a local item. You know, doctors generically and patients assume and tend to treat it as a local issue. In other words, I want to know if I've got plaque here in my heart. Implied assumption that it's not going on everywhere else. Plaque happens because of inflammation. And as you're pointing out here, you probably need to look at more than one area. Now, how true is that? When you start looking at, that's good logic, but we talked about this a minute ago. A lot of places have good logic, but the evidence is not that clear. So here's the question based on what Jonathan's bringing up. If you get a CIMT here in the neck and it's clear, what is the probability? You looked at both areas, you didn't see any plaque. What's the probability that you actually had plaque somewhere else, you just didn't pick it up in either of these two areas? That's why some people just will go ahead and do a femoral screen as well. Here's the thing, if you have significant evidence that they have that there's plaque going on and you don't see any either of these, yes, it's worth doing it. What's the evidence? How often do you find it? It's less than 2%. Less than 2% have significant plaque, but you don't pick it up in either of these arteries. So we tend to not screen that, and especially if you go ahead and you pick it up, you know it's theirs. So